Okay, now that we've covered some of the most important concepts around working with files in PHP, let's go ahead and talk about how to prepare our file system and prepare PHP to handle uploaded files. So first of all, we need to talk about file permissions, because if you run into an issue with file permissions and you don't know how to solve it, it can be a huge pain. Depending on your operating system and if you use the command line or if you use a GUI in order to work with your website files, the actual representation of permissions is going to look a little different. But the basic concept is the same. There are three groups of permissions, one for you, one for your group, and one for the world. The idea is that the permissions given to you apply whenever you're accessing a file as yourself. Now, when you're logged into a website, that's not you. That is the Apache server who's accessing the website. And so the permissions that apply to Apache are the ones that are typically in the world category rather than you or your group. Now, this also depends on your web server configuration because some web servers are configured so that Apache runs as you, and so the permissions given to you are the same as the permissions given to Apache. In general, the idea is that you want to give the fewest number of permissions possible to all three groups in order to make sure that you have as few holes as possible. The permissions that are given to you typically come into play when you're FTPing or SSHing into your site to work with files or work from the command line. The permissions given to your group come into play when other individuals that have user accounts on the web server are trying to work with those files. In most cases, you will be the only member of your group, but it's important to keep the permissions for the group as minimal as possible. Probably the most impactful set of permissions is for the world because these are the permissions that anybody who accesses certain files get. So you want to make sure that they're as minimal as possible. Now again, Apache will sometimes run as a member of this group. So as you set permissions, you might need to loosen up the permissions temporarily for certain actions or individually set permissions on particular folders that you want to be accessible to Apache and that are still okay for the world to be able to access as well. There are three permissions that you can give to any member of this group for any directory or any file, and those are read, write, and execute permissions. Reading allows the group or individual to be able to pull data from the file, but not manipulate it in any way. The ability to write allows the user or group to change that file in some way, to overwrite it, to delete it. The execute permission allows the user or group to run a command on the file or folder in question. So imagine what you can do from the command line, and that's basically what this permission gives the user group the ability to do. Now when it comes to actually setting permissions for these different groups, you'll often see the permissions represented as a single number. So each group has its own number, and because there's three groups, you'll see three numbers. The first number is representative of the permissions for yourself, the second is for the group, and the third is for the world. Because there's three permissions, that means there's seven different combinations of these permissions, and each combination is represented by a number. The most common numbers that you'll see are the numbers four through seven. 4 is read permission, 5 is read and execute permission, 6 is read and write permission, and 7 is read write execute. So 7 is the most permissive, whereas 4 is the least permissive of all of those. Because every web server is configured differently, and every directory has different needs, there's not one combination of permissions that you can use across the board but there's a good rule of thumb. For directories, you can set permissions to 755, which means that you have full permissions, and the group and the world have the ability to read and execute on those directories. 
for individual files, a permission set of 644 will typically work, which means that you have the ability to read and write, and the world and the group have the ability to read. 